I'm here to show you how to use your mnemonic label printer for the first time. If you purchase the mnemonic label printer, you should have this gray box. In the box, you will find your printer, a USB cable, a power cable, and this user guide. The compact box you see here is your mnemonic label printer. So now let's take a look at it. There is a small pink label sticker on the front of the printer. If you don't have this sticker, it means unfortunately you have an old model of the mnemonic label printer, so you cannot print out label paper. If you decide to print out labels, you will need to purchase a newer mnemonic label model with the sticker. On the top of the printer, you can see an output slot, which is where the paper is printed. And here is a dispenser button, which supports a quick prints function. In the back, there is a power connector power button and the reset button. If you flip the printer like this, you will find anti-slip rubbers and your printer's model information. Let's take a look at the other components as well. A two inch water resistant cartridge is provided for free. And here is the power adapter, USB cable for PC connection, and user guide with the manual and printer information. Now let's look at how to use the printer. First, connect the power adapter to the mnemonic label and press the power button to turn it on. The LED light will signal that it is turned on. Then it will make a beeping sound. The device makes a warning sound like this when there is no cartridge in the printer. Now let's put the cartridge in the printer. If you look at the side of the product, there is a lever. Press this lever to open the lid. Inside the printer you will see an arrow. The cartridge is also marked with an arrow. Place the cartridge inside the printer with the two arrows facing each other. Next you need to pull the label slightly out of the printer's output slot and close the lid. The printer will automatically position the output. Now you are ready to use your mnemonic label printer. The mnemonic label printer is compatible with various types and sizes of paper. There are three types of labels and four colors of sticky notes. The first type of label paper is a water resistant label. This cartridge is included in the mnemonic label package. This label comes in four sizes from 3x1 to 3x4. All the other types of labels that I will discuss are also water resistant, but this label is the basic paper used with the mnemonic label printer. The second type of label is a transparent label which is also water resistant. The third type of label is a name tag. The printer has been configured to print five of these labels at a time and each label is 0.5 by 1.2 inches. This paper is water resistant as well. The mnemonic label printer can also print out sticky notes. As you can see, there are a total of four colors and all of them are bisphenol A free. So it is harmless and the adhesive was produced in accordance with safety regulations. Please refer to our website if you need more details. Mnemonic Label provides mobile apps for easy creation and printing. Go to the App Store on your mobile phone and download the Mnemonic app. If you're using iOS, you can download the app with the gray icon that appears at the top of the App Store, and the Android user can also search for the app on the Google Play Store and install the app that appears on the Android screen. Once you've finished installing, let's start the app. If you run the app like this, you'll see the main screen after you go through a few consent procedures related to Bluetooth. Before you create a note, you need to make a Bluetooth connection so that your mobile notes can be printed on the printer. Click the Settings button on the bottom right of the main screen. Go to Settings and select a printer in the middle. You'll see a mnemonic label printer in the printer list. If the mnemonic label is selected this way, Bluetooth connection is now completed. If Bluetooth is unstable and the connection is not good in the app, go to the settings in the mobile device and connect Bluetooth directly. Once you're connected to Bluetooth, I'll show you how to write notes in the app. 
On the main screen of the app, press the new memo button at the bottom left. This is the basic screen. Please adjust the paper size first. If you write a memo and set up a paper, everything you write will be initialized, so you must set it up before you start writing. Since we have a 3x2 cartridge, we will adjust it to 3x2 by clicking on the note size in the upper left corner. Notes can be written in the form of a text box by default, but they can also be handwritten. You can use an eraser also when you write. We're going to use a text box to write it this time. First, we'll bring up the image. If you put the image at the end, the previous contents will be initialized. So if you want to put an image and text together, then please put the image first. We'll bring our logo from the photo album. The loaded image can be reduced and can be moved like this. I'll zoom out and put it in the lower right corner. I'll put in the letters now. If you touch text input like this, the keyboard will pop up. You can put anything you would like to put. I'll try to type mnemonic. The type of font can be changed by selecting it like this and the size of the font can be changed by moving it from side to side. Then, move the text box to the desired position, like this. You can also create another text box in another spot of the paper. In the case of Android, you can add a new text box by clicking. In the case of iOS, you can create a new text box by pressing the plus button on the top right of the keyboard. Once you're done, let's print out what you've written. Do you see the print button at the bottom? This is how the preview screen appears. You can adjust brightness and contrast and select the number of copies. Now I'll print out two labels. Now press the print button. If the printing is going well, the printer's LED lights will flash like this. And the output will print like this soon. It's not hard, is it? If you think you're going to use this memo frequently, you can click the Save button at the bottom left to save it to the My Notes list. You can print all label and sticky notes except for the name tag paper in the same way. I'll explain how to print out the name tag in the next video. Unlike on PCs, shapes and forms are difficult to create on mobile devices. So we've made a template of the shapes and forms that we use often. I'll choose a calendar. You can check out these various calendar formats and study calendar formats. Choose one of the templates that you would like to use. Then you can see the memo screen. You can add the text you want and print it out using the method described earlier. In the case of name tag cartridges, the way they are created in the app is different from the other labels. While other forms are created by selecting new memo, you must click Tools in the Mnemonic App menu and select Name Tag at the top to print using a name tag cartridge. Name tags print in groups of five, so five pages of form are created to match each tag. Now you can write in the same way as you did on the other labels. Enter your text and change the font like this or adjust the button next to it to change the font size. If you would like to print the same content on all five labels, you can click the blue button that says first line full copy. Then it is possible to select one of the pages and edit it partially. Once you've entered everything, we'll change the number of outputs by clicking the number button in the lower left corner. I will print out two pages this time. Now you can see that these two are printed out. This concludes the introduction of the mnemonic app. Mnemonic also offers an app called Mnemonic Scanner that removes shadows and scans only letters. This app is useful for students who study and for small business owners who write thank you messages to customers. Before using the app, we will change the paper cartridge in the printer to the sticky note cartridge. The replacement method is the same as the one shown in the beginning of the video.
Once you have inserted the sticky note cartridge, press the dispenser button briefly and print out the blank paper. You can write a handwritten message on the blank paper. Once you're done, iOS users can search for the mnemonic scanner in the App Store. Android users can search for and download the mnemonic scanner from the Google Play Store. Now let's launch the scanner app. You should see a square frame on the first screen. Please take a picture so that the handwritten note you just wrote is in the square. When you take a picture, the app automatically removes the shadow and only the letters are left more clearly. If there is a shadow that has not been completely removed, press the Erase button at the bottom to erase it. When it's done, you can print it out. Look at this. No difference, right? If you want to save it, press the three dots button on the bottom left to save it as a photo album or a PDF file. You can access the saved photo and reprint it. If you find it difficult to handwrite the same thank you message to your customers repeatedly, you can simply print out multiple copies of the same handwritten message using the Mnemonic Scanner app. This concludes the introduction of the Mnemonic Scanner app.